My name is Elizabeth Blue, and I'm with the Beef Tech Solutions Group with Purina Animal Nutrition. And today I want to spend a little bit of time with you thinking about how you're going to control your, your fly populations as we come out of the winter months and move into the spring months. It's important to know now is the time to be thinking about what you're going to be doing to control those fly populations as they emerge. There's a couple of things that you can implement into your operation, such as an insect growth regulator, an impregnated ear tag, back rubbers, dust bags, stuff like that. Uh, but one of the things to be thinking about is how you're gonna control the horn fly. The horn fly is the predominant uh, fly on pasture cattle. And one quick way that you guys can uh, help control the horn fly is by utilizing a wind and rain mineral with Altacid IGR. This Altacid IGR is passed through the animal deposited in the manure where the adult horn fly lays their eggs. This helps stop the development of the pupae into the adult fly, thus help controlling the adult horn fly. Other things that you can use in tandem with Alcicid IGR, like I said, are those dust bags, the back rubbers, the ear tags to help control the, the, the flies that you have in your operation. And one other thing that I wanna remind you guys about is to be thinking about those hay feeding sites, those other locations where other flies lay their eggs. So as we come out of hay season, hay feeding season and move into the spring months, be sure to clean up those, those hay feeding sites, get rid of decompose, decomposing weeds, tall grasses, stuff like that to help control the flies you have on your pasture. For more information on fly control methods, visit perinamills.com backslash cattle.